Warning, there is a very good chance at some point in this video you will get triggered with something that I say. If you get triggered, just drop a like on the video and everything will be okay. What's up guys, welcome back to the draft and today I'm gonna make this intro real short. Pretty much comment down below, who do you guys think is the most overrated player in the entire NFL? I'm very curious to so leave your comments down below. If you guys wanna see more drafts, smack a like on this video. Can we get 1,000 likes in the first hour? Never been done, well it has been done before, but can we do it? Drafting the most overrated player, like I warned you guys, you're gonna get triggered at certain points. I don't know, I'm just gonna do what I do. I'm gonna give my honest opinion. I'm about to go spend these five tickets so I can say whatever I want, because I'm spending five tickets. Okay, coach-wise, most overrated coach. I'm gonna go with the, uh, I don't wanna say Doug Peterson. I also, I'm gonna say Marvin Lewis is super overrated. As a coach in general, Cincinnati's production, I think he could easily lose his job very soon and I would not complain. Okay, Bradley Roby, Kevin Byard, and George Jenkins. And to prove I'm not biased, I am going to go with Kevin Byron. A lot of his picks last year, okay, this sucks, and I hate having to say this. Trust me, this is honestly, this pains me because he's one of my favorite players on the Titans. Of these guys, I don't think Roby's overrated, and I don't think Janoris Jenkins is overrated. I think the one guy you could say that had a better year than he actually is, he kind of got exposed by Gronk last year, is Kevin Byard. I am drafting legit the most overrated player, despite my personal opinion. Okay, Brent Grimes, Marcus Peters, and Desmond Trufant. I would say I'm going to go... Marcus Peters. I think if your team's willing to get rid of you like they were with him, he's got a lot of personality issues. I think Desmond Trufant has been amazing since he came out of Washington. Brent Grimes, I don't really think you can say he's overrated. He has been around. I never really got a ton of attention. A guy who got a ton of attention who I guess lived up, but also I'm going to go with Marcus Peters. I told you, trigger warning is coming. Prepare. Cameron Hayward, I'm going to go with you in this round. Those rounds don't really matter. They're not very exciting. Okay. Ryan Kerrigan, Everson Griffin, or Daniel Trevathan. I'd say these two guys are underrated. I'd say this dude's overrated. I'd actually put him on an overrated list. I don't think if you look at Ryan Kerrigan's numbers that he's as good as some people like to believe he is. Like I said, the comments are flying right now. J.J. Watt, Geno Atkins, and Travis Frederick. I don't think you can say J.J. Watt's overrated. Uh, I don't think you can say Travis Frederick's overrated. And I think you might be able to argue later in his career that Geno Atkins is still a little overrated. J.J. Watt, because of his injuries, I'm contemplating taking him, but I'm gonna go with Geno Atkins in this round because I personally just don't think he is. Okay, Jonathan Joseph, I would say, is the most overrated there. Uh, he's still relatively well-known, and none of those other guys are really that popular whatsoever. Offensive linemen, they really don't go overrated, underrated. They're pretty much the same. No one really thinks about them too much. Okay, overrated, I'm gonna go Juju Smith-Schuster. Not that I think he's not gonna be good. I just think the fact that he's really good at marketing himself, that everyone kind of thinks he's gonna be crazy good and something special. So, like I said, if you disagree with some of these things that I'm saying, I totally understand. Here, I'm gonna go with the right tackle. But Juju, I just don't think he's done enough to get where he is. Okay, David Johnson, Todd Gurley. I'm gonna go Kareem Hunt. Didn't see much production from him in the playoff game against the Titans. I think he might be a tad overrated. Michael Crabtree, Sammy Watkins, or Eric Ebron, Sammy Watkins. Didn't have a ton of production in Buffalo, so I don't know. I'm afraid for the comments. I don't think Brandon Grahams, I think he's underrated. I think Melvin Ingram, I'd say Donald Penn. Uh, I think Melvin Ingram would be the most overrated because I don't think, okay, Jimmy, Dak, and Carson Wentz, no doubt in my mind who the most overrated quarterback in this group is. It's not even close. And I, it's between these two. I don't think Jimmy, I think Carson Wentz is overrated. I'm about to make a hot take. Maybe I'll talk more about the game. Nick Foles won a Super Bowl with his team. He obviously had a stack team. He might be amazing, and he very well could be. And he had an amazing season. I think he's a beast. I just think people talk a little bit too highly of him for my liking. I think he's great. I just don't think he's going to change the NFL completely. Brian Arakpo, Michael Bennett. Oh, Michael Bennett. Easily chuck him on the list. He's watch. He's old. Devin McCourty, Josh, Josh Norman. I put him on the list. Uh, not that he's overrated. He just gets a lot of attention. Everyone knows who he is, and he probably doesn't produce like he should here we're gonna go Jake Matthews uh, I am so worried because I know there's fans of every single person Ezekiel Elliott Adam Thielen I feel like both these guys are underrated only guy I could say I don't trust me I don't want to running back is Ezekiel Elliott. okay Joey Bosa Cameron Jordan or Rashad Evans I think Bosa oh I think the only person you can say is overrated because he's quite young is Joey Bosa Rashad Evans hasn't even played and Cameron Jordan has proved over time I'll go Joey Bosa just because he's young. I Trust me, I don't want more left hands. I have too many of them. Doug Baldwin, Landon Collins, and Larry Fitzgerald. At this point in his career, Larry Fitzgerald, I'd say, is the most overrated in that round. Hate me if you want, but I love me 
and Steve Hutchinson, Lorenzo Neal, and Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is not overrated whatsoever. He was amazing. Lorenzo Neal or Steve Hutchinson. I guess I got to go with a freaking fullback. You know what? I'm not, I can't draft a fullback. I'm going to go with Steve Hutchinson. Let's go ball though. Let's go play this game. We're going to try and drop a 50 bomb. 81 overall team. We absolutely suck. But let's go play. Okay, so we're going up against Sue Johnson and Clowney. This guy's got a squad. This guy. And you always play good opponents on this mode. I would like, it's rare that people just want to drop a five ticket bomb. Which is like quite a bit of, not like a ton of real money. But it's like, it's a decent amount of cash. It's rare people want to drop that and just suck. He wants to play in this stadium, which I hate. Or is this where all the drafts are? I don't think all the drafts are here. It's too sunny. I actually hate it. Way too sunny for me. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk about all my opinions as we go through this video. Okay, so it's a good time to address some of my hot takes. Carson Wentz, the only reason that I believe him to be overrated. Okay, I'm gonna take the first minute of this video on our first drive to explain. I don't think he is necessarily, I don't think he's not good. I'm just saying, okay? They won without him. If I'm a high school junior varsity point guard, okay, and I leave the team, I think I am just the greatest thing that ever happened in football. Terrible start. Oh my gosh, I suck. Okay, let me get it together. Uh, I gotta figure this out. I, I can't have it start like this. Larry Fischel drops it. Okay, whatever. I guess we're gonna start this by playing some defense. I am not focused. I'm too worried about delivering my hot takes, but it is what it is. Let's punt. Let's try and get a good punt. Every offensive drive from here on out, let me just make you guys a promise. Okay, look me in the eyes in a second. Every offensive drive from here on out, I will score. I will. I promise. I hate his jerseys, by the way. When you, I don't understand why anyone would ever pick those jerseys. Are those not the most ugly things you've ever seen in your whole life? Like, seriously, though. Like, they're so, to me, they are so unbelievably ugly. Like, I, I don't get it. Okay, third down here. I'm not making the same mistake I did last time. I'm doing the complete opposite I did last time. I'm actually going to rush. Quite a few guys. I am dead inside. Nice throw. Good throw over the middle of the Golden Tate. Okay. I have some work to do. I'm embarrassed of how that first drive on offense with the defense drive I wouldn't say that I played terrible I'd say this guy made some pretty good throws but moral of the story I had to go on offense I gotta do like 10 times better than I did the first drive because I was I was too busy talking about who was overrated I was not even hardly playing attention playing attention no no what I tried to say so that, that's a full blitz what is going on okay 259 here I almost want to go with a run play but in a much larger sense, I really don't want to go with a run play. Yeah, got him, coach. Thank you for catching that because initially you tried so hard, Fitzgerald, to convince me that you were useless. If you wouldn't have caught that, or like, I probably would have been screaming at the TV right now. Okay, third down and five. This has been a good game so far. I'm, if I do say so myself, I definitely say this has been a pretty fun game to play. Uh, for both of us, and he gets a guy coming right in. Yeah, stick with it. Fitzgerald, he got it. Nice throw. Nice throw, Wentz. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna chew clock. Um, I wanna take away all of these 26 seconds. He only has one timeout left. Um, I'll be down by four, but I can play defense. I'm confident that I can, like, play with this guy at least on the defensive side of the ball and hope for the best of the cross our fingers for the second half. Good defense. I'm that kind of guy. I'm going to call a timeout. The reason I call a timeout, I want him to keep running plays and I want him to throw an interception. That's the main reason. Like I said, interception. Just what I wanted. Now I have a chance to maybe grease out a field goal here if I can get a decent play. For like 20 yards, just like I said, that's why I call it timeout because I knew he would go and he'd try and throw something downfield, try and be a hero, and that never works out. Okay, with the lead, I wasn't able to stop him here, but no part of me thinks that he's impossible to beat. Ooh, he had good blocks there. Yep, see how I just stopped? I literally just stopped and I said, I'm gonna let you make moves, Cream Hunt. I'm gonna let you 
Make your moves, get close to me. That is the best thing I could do. Because I had a pretty much a one on one situation. He did not play that right. He should have just ran right at me. But he didn't. Okay, good stuff. Second down and four. We got a chance to stop him here. I'd love to send some pressure. Yeah, blitz everyone. Send six. Yeah, send six. Get this guy in the backfield. That's what I'm talking about. Bring up a tough third down situation. Because I think there's a chance with this dude that he goes for it. And then we, if we score a touchdown, we're up three. So there's always that potential, kid. Okay, Josh Norman, stay low. I just cannot give him too much time because he's actually quite good with time. Good run, good run. Let's go, Ryan Kerrigan. Let's go. Nice job, Sammy. Nice job, Sammy. Five yard line, eight for 13, 90 yards. Okay, gotta score because I wasn't able to score last time, so I wanted to just hurry it up. Try and get Zeke in this end zone as soon as possible, but he's, it's gonna be, he's not gonna make this easy on me whatsoever. Yeah, right there, got him. I'm, I'm bad in the red zone, but I'm not always bad in the red zone. Nice catch, Smith Schuster. Nice catch, bro. Okay, kick that field goal, go up 10 to seven good we, we played really good on defense last drive i stopped his running game he was trying to maintain it stay consistent i kind of went all in for it and then on a fourth down spot we ended up getting some good pressure let's just do that exact same thing and we should be fine here okay check check run check toss here no no that could be post 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 good let's go holy my pass rush is just insane right now look at this Look at what my end is doing. He's literally just pushing me and destroying them. I don't even have to send, like, blitz concepts. I'm going to send one here, though. Because I, I want to blitz again. I want to send a three-man heat. Just to see. we got to watch Tyree kill over there. But I want to send some three-man heat because he's going to go play action. Yeah. Oh, I wish that would have got thrown. Bayard would have taken that to the house. I don't know what just happened. I have legit no idea what just happened. That was cover three. As far as I know, with what I had, that was cover three. That dude ended up wide open. 15-10. I just, I love to make these games difficult on myself, don't I? Love to make it difficult on myself. Yep, just like I wanted you to. Just like I wanted you to, Kareem Hunt. Right in between those zones. Let's go score quick and get these points back. Yeah, there we go. That time. That time you better hold on to the ball. If they're going to give us man coverage, if they're going to give us man coverage, Fitz, you better hang on to the ball. Good job. Okay, we're blitzing. Blitz here. Let's just take our chances. I, we, we know where he wants to go. We know exactly where he wants to go. Send that six-man heat if he wants to run those stupid play-action plays. Let's go. Good job, Ray. Okay, fourth down 18. If we get this, this game should be a total wrap. But who knows? I'll after, if assuming I stop him, I'll run the clock down, kick a field goal, try and score a touchdown. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, if you guys don't see me again, it means that I was able to two clock. But man, our pressure is coming in nice. Oh, Sammy Watkins. That was a two-man read. Sammy Watkins just probably won this game for us. Two clock isn't working, but I'll probably see you at the end. Oh my gosh, that was a clutch catch. Okay, so he's got a chance. I'm only up by six right now. Um... But as long as I keep him in balance, like letting him take that throw. Part of the reason I didn't try and pick that is because if he wanted to go for that throw, I completely want him to have it because he has no time left on this clock. Then like, you gotta give him all of those. Easy money, thanks thanks for playing, buddy. He almost got that. He legit, oh my gosh, he almost got it. 
That's gonna end it though, man. Up three deep. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below. Who do you guys think is the most overrated player in the NFL? And let me know if you disagree with any of my stupid opinions that I had throughout this video. Let's send Bosa. Overall, the I have the hiccups right now, so it's a good time for us to finish this. Holy. God bless. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.